Hello everyone, my name is Hamza and welcome to my channel. If you're looking for that one build, one build that can destroy almost anyone in the game, no matter which difficulty you're playing on, I've got that build for you. With this god tier build, you can destroy anyone in the game, including Gana and the Berserker King. And when I say destroy, I mean destroy. Not only am I going to share the build with you, but I'm also going to let you know where you can find the equipment, what the necessary skills do, and why you need them. And I'm also going to show you how you're going to use all of this to the fullest. Let's start. On the Leviathan Axe, I've got the Fierce Maul for increased strength. And I'm going with Njord's Tempest for its cooldown and versatility, and the Breath of Thamur for its damage. For the Chaos Blades, I've got the Pummels of the Nine Realms for its stats and the ability to Realm Shift. Again, focusing on cooldown for the first Runic Attack and damage for the second. On the Spear, I've equipped the Hind of the Four Winds for increased strength. Again, cooldown and damage. The reason we are equipping these abilities is to cast the Storm of Bifrost, which I will explain to you in a bit. When it comes to the shield, you can either choose between the Dauntless Shield or the Onslaught Shield. But make sure to equip the Rond of Purification for its increased strength. Spartan Rage is set to Fury. And the relic I'm using is the Hilt of Hofud, which allows you to cast Realm Shift for some precious seconds. For the chest piece, we need the Berserker Quiras. Not only does this piece come with incredible stats, but it also allows us to cast the ability Soulless Warrior. This skill is triggered whenever you use a relic. When activated, Kratos' melee attack increases massively, but he also takes a lot of damage during this time. So if you're not attacking, make sure to block or wait. Don't get hit. You can get this by completing the Berserker Gravestone in the Barons in Elfheim. To get Surtur's Scorched Arm, you need to complete all the Crucible Trials in Muspelheim. We are going to be using this for its increased strength and also its 20% damage reduction perk, which definitely comes in handy when Soulless Warrior is activated. For the Waste Armor, we are going to be using the Berserker Waste Guard for its stats and the ability to cause soul explosions, which has a moderate chance of getting triggered anytime you take damage, block or parry. This damages the opponent and gives you a cooldown of the relic, allowing you to cast Realm Shift sooner should the need arise. The Nifalheim enchantment set increases Kratos' melee damage when he is above 75% health based on his defense. And the Muspelheim set increases his melee damage when the permafrost, immolation, or male storm scales are fully charged based on his runic. Two of these amulets are vital to this build. For the third one, you can equip whatever you like. Emblem of the Nine Realms has empowered shift ability which increases melee damage during realm shifts. So those precious seconds during realm shift? they're going to be really valuable. The Seal of Runic Storm Within a certain time frame, using runic attacks of three different weapons causes a storm of Bifrost. This stays on for 14 seconds and if you're near the enemy, they get afflicted with Bifrost. For the last one, I've got the Stunning Fang equipped. What this does is that hitting stunned enemies unleashes shockwaves and has a chance to grant a stack of increasing strength and stun damage. So I leave the third one up to you, pick whatever you like best. For Freya, I'm using the Thrungwa and Steel Harmony for increased stun damage. And here are the accessories I'm going with. With all this out of the way, let's finally start with the battle. As soon as the battle begins, I'm going to press down on the triangle to activate Frost Awaken. And I'm going to rush towards Gana and attack her four times. While I'm attacking, I'm pressing the square button so that Freya can attack her with her sonic arrows. Now after the 4th arrow, I'm just going to hold on to the square button so that Freya casts Steel Harmony. Runic attack with the axe. Press down. Runic attack with the spear. Press left. Runic attack with the Blades of Chaos. This will trigger the Storm of Bifrost. You need to make sure that these three attacks connect and Gana doesn't move away. Right after my third Runic attack, I'm going to press L1 plus Triangle. If Gana is in the middle of any attack animation, this will reset it and open her to take more damage. Right after that, it's L1 plus Circle to trigger the Realm Shift and this will also activate the Soulless Warrior perk. Now just hold R1 and look at that damage. Keep hitting her with arrows from Freya. When the Realm Shift ends, Gana is going to move away. Now you need to be careful and watch for what she does next. 
the Soulless Warrior perk is still active, which means you can do and receive massive damage. So block, await, attack, all depends on what she does next. In my case, I saw red attacks and I dodged and detonated all the spears. As soon as I saw the blue rings, I dashed in, double tapped L1 and started attacking her again with my runic attacks, but this time with L1 plus R2. First with the chaos blades, then the spear and then the axe. Make sure to keep attacking her with arrows in between. This brought her down to two bars. Make sure you're close and activate rage and start hitting the hell out of her. Now the damage from this is not going to be much, but with the Storm of Bifrost active and the stun bar increasing, by the time your rage ends, she's going to be left with just one health bar and your L1 plus R1 runic attacks are going to become active. Now we're going to attack her again with the three runic attacks as we did at the start of the battle. In my case, she moved away during my second runic attack, but I dodged and I was able to connect the third runic attack before the time ran out, triggering another Storm of Bifrost. L1 plus triangle for another 1.75 second realm shift, attack and that is it. Gana down in 90 seconds or less. Now you have proof, this is the ultimate god tier build and now you know how to use it effectively. Well I hope you enjoyed the step by step breakdown video, if you did please leave a like, share your thoughts in the comment section and please subscribe to my channel. I'm a father of four, I work but I love to play video games and I just want to do that for the rest of my life. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Known the comfort of their warmth. I wronged you. And I cannot change that. Never apologize enough for it. But the hatred. Vengeance. You have to let it go.